everybody welcome back to Wargroove. last time we actually defeated emmerich as uh, empress tenry in a little friendly match for all time's sake it was really good man i love those skirmishes so let's see about this one a savage history and the bashed rialta tries to explain himself so i guess we're finally getting to play a set here i'm excited man i want to try his uh, groove ability out actually may i speak with you Someone say something? <laughs> She's still upset. Go ahead, Ryota. I wish to apologize. Me. I hope deeply that you, Nero, can forgive my misguided prejudice. Maybe. Keep talking. I have only met one of your kind before. A Florin known as Sedge. <laughs> Both the girls are like, what? what? <laughs> exactly. What, Sedge? I'm nothing like that creeper. Nice. I realize that now. How do you even know that jerk? <laughs> I met him several months ago. Or maybe we play as Ryota here? But it looked like we were gonna play as Sedge. The Heaven Song Border. Look who it is. But I, I know somebody, I think it was uh, Arco Zira who said this. He said, like, Sedge looks like the Pokemon Cypher, and now I cannot unsee it. So oh, great. <laughs> Great one, man. Great comment. <laughs> Who goes there? Do you seek aid? <laughs> seek aid? Haha. <laughs> you are not in need? Yes. Oh, yes. Pusetch is in need. In need of a snack. What? Sir, I, I don't understand. You a pretty soldier boy. Can't you see the wolves at his store? Step back. This is sovereign territory. I'm afraid you must leave. You're afraid? How very sensible of you. Turn one. Hungers. Yep, Sedge, do hunger. Where are those delicious looking soldiers? <laughs> hmm, it is a mistake to challenge the might of heaven song. You will be defeated. Destroy the enemy stronghold or defeat Ryota. Once again, against the samurai boy. Uh, we start with an income of 100, he starts with 600, great, you love to see it. Um, let us go in this direction, I think that's pretty good. We just capture here for now. Looks a little bit to me like Harpies might be a, a pretty good idea to be deployed here. And then here I'm pretty sure we want the Slasher right away. So they can start taking the territory here. There's an archer and a Shiba, okay. Capture this one, please. This looks like something I might be able to, uh, like, just overrun. Just need to fortify this here and then slowly move in, if possible. They, only, they also only have, like, a tower and two barracks here, so it's an even playing field, like, for in all intents and purposes, I think. Let's do this. Get a little bit of money with that slasher. And... Do I want... I think I want to start producing quack mugs already. Quack mugs. Quack, quack mutts. Oh, there's a harpy. Okay, now we, we might run into a little problem here. Uh, let us move north here. We need a shaman. Pretty sure about that. You just come over there and then one shaman, please. Because they already had the idea to produce a harpy here, so we are a little bit of a bind. Let's capture this. So they're making us put in the work here, but for now, I think this could be a really interesting fight. There's a knight. I think Sedge has to pull his own weight here, pretty sure. Otherwise, we're getting totally overrun. Let's do this. Capture that. Just get in there. Ryota also seems to be going to the front line, but you know how that went last time. He didn't really stick around for a long time. You cannot attack anything yet. You can move him pretty far. Uh... How far can the harpy move? Oh, well, not that far actually. I always overestimate how far they can move actually. 
Okay, let's see. I think I want to bring you around here. Something like that. And then here... Should I just... Yeah, maybe I will put Setch into this little forest here. A little fortified position. And now I have 550 left. So I'm gonna go for another Quagmat here. And then I think another one here. That way we can still save up something. Now that knight is gonna be annoying as heck, of course. Let's hope that Setch doesn't perish so easily here. Might also set up a ballista here soon in that general radius. Okay, we need to put in some work there. I think this slasher for now is just gonna capture this up here. Then we got everything on our side. For now at least. Uh, we need to do a lot of work here. Could send Mutt versus Mutt. He could come in against the Archer here. Shaman also needs to come in. So I think... How much will Setch do? 130, 140%. Yeah, he will just eliminate that Archer actually. And that Mutt, yeah, this will be pretty good actually. So, I think what we want to do is we want to wait in front of this guy. And then bring this mud in from the side and destroy that guy over here. And then I'm gonna try to do the old flooding tactic maybe. Hmm, so easy. Why do you delight in such destruction? This is far enough, creature. Setch disagrees. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. Let's see, how far can you move in? Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You, you can't quite get to Setch if I move him here. This is great. Everything working as intended, I think. There he goes. Got him. What is your grief, grief meter? Your grief meter? 54. How fast do you charge up, actually? It's a charge of slow. Doesn't seem that slow to me. Set hits the target for 35% damage. If the target is killed, the groove is not depleted and the turn does not end. That seems so good, man. I can set it up properly. Okay. I think I have to quickly... Yeah. Bring the shaman in here. And then puppies... <laughs> march in on their position. You love to see it, man. This is... Man, like, I, I hope... One day there will be like a Wargroove plushie or something, or I guess like a, I don't know, like a, a Starborn plushie or something, because I love all the character designs. Maybe there will be like a Wargroove 2 or something. I don't know how successful the game actually was, but it seems like it has quite a stout following. Okay, this knight needs to go. I think I speak for everyone when I say this. Only does 44 to 52%. They are quite strong, man. This pup uh, is here right now, which we could use to our advantage if I do it right. So I guess I can attack, I can also attack this guy, now you're giving me all kinds of opportunities here. Let's move the slasher from up here down, there's no sense in them just standing around there. And maybe I want, I don't even know what I want, a ballista here now actually. Maybe I sort of just want the trebuchet guarding this gate. So let's bring Setch in here, I think. If we do it... So if I bring Setch here, attack, maybe I want to bring Setch there. So he's still kind of back. But sadly you can't get around the mage or anything. But I could put the mage, um, not put the mage, put the puppy here, then put the Setch, the Setch, you heard that right? The one and only Setch, we'll put him right there. Two big hits. Then maybe pull a puppy from the back. Not this one, I guess. Okay, disregard, just <laughs> put this puppy here, attack this guy. Mm. 
make him weak. And eventually I think we are also gonna start producing knights. They seem to work out great in every single situation so far. Uh, yeah, let's attack the harpy here. There we go. Shaman doing the work. Thank you very much. And then I guess we really should be bringing in as many puppies as possible here. Within reason. It's interesting that they produced a puppy here, but they never produce him in pairs. I don't know whether the AI just doesn't consider that, I guess not. Okay, so now I can... Uh, no, don't give me a slash. Just give me another puppy here. And give me a puppy on this side. Then I have 650, so I could get a leaf wing. Is that worth it? If I look around, I mean... Ryota's in there, but we could terrorize those islands around here, I suppose. Sounds great if I phrase it like this. Let's just do it. The earlier we get in, the better, I suppose. Oh, they made another harpy here, okay. Hmm. Interesting, the night attacks here. How much will you do? Will you kill? Not quite. I like that, actually. So this is why I love pups, right? I think I said this many times before, but not only are they great low-budget units that can attack in pairs and dish out a relatively large amount of damage. Also, if you have a one health pup, it's still useful because it can allow other, other units to just crit, man. Like, it's crazy. It's so, so good. I think you want to just attack from here, I guess. You could also attack this dude right there. Would be nice to start taking away their territory already if we can. Satch can totally kill this knight, which I think I'll do. Bonk. Blood for the blood god. Oh nice, we got, <laughs> we got our war groove ability, our groove ability is high. This also is a great position actually, we can totally surround this. Uh, Shaman standing back there, I don't mind. 85 to 89% with you. Could anyone else come in close enough? I guess not. You could come in against this guy for 75 to 85. Those are all great things we can do. Uh, 85 to 89%. Uh, 85 to 95%. Don't know what was just wired up in the wrong way there in my head. Let's do this attack here. See how much they do. Not even 10%. So I guess this pup will just move back for now. Could can be our flanking aid in the future and then can destroy this guy or I uh, can greatly weaken this guy. He's not a threat at all anyway right now. So I guess I'll let him come towards me. Just dish out some damage here. For now I think it is still advisable to remain in the gate here just so the harpy can come here and it's close enough to the shaman to be dealt with swiftly pretty much bring you little guys in uh leaf wing yeah let's come down with the leaf wing slasher can come in shaman i don't want to move yet uh puppy a little closer please Dude, and just keep him coming. Save up some money and produce some units at the same time. Then we'll see. So, she f might f either fly directly towards our leaf wing or toward our gate. Remains to be seen, I suppose. Let's bring you in closer. Uh, the tower, we can't produce anything right now, so let's end this turn. Okay, you come in against Satch. It's not the wisest decision for you, I think. Because, well, we regenerate anyway, right? And we're so close to villages that it bas it's basically free damage for us. At least as far as I'm concerned. You're very good. You love to see the puppy survive. That's great. 
Haha, <laughs> such groove is ready. That can assassinate enemies that are close to death. Such target dies, such turn doesn't even end. I think this is exactly what I'll do here, actually. That's so good. Uh, let's try it out, right? Sadistic Rush. Zomp. He dead. And <laughs> we can still move. That is actually very good. But compared it to Empress Tenry's groove ability, I can't even begin to explain how much better I like this one. Okay. Um, Sedge can still come in and attack something else now. Which is just crazy to me. Let's see, how far can the closest and the most far away pup come in? I guess it's this one, technically speaking. Hmm. So we are just flooding their gates with green chompers here. So like vegetable based uh, puppies. Welcome to the future or the past, I suppose. This will maybe destroy that one. Nice. This one is down. Let's waltz in that direction, shall we? Maybe we can get that. Don't spread yourselves too thin here, mind you. But a reasonable amount of puppies there to kind of surround it. And I guess the four... Yeah, the one that only has 40 HP, this one will be the flanking buddy here. Let's bring you here then. Uh, more puppies, please. This is the thing, right? So for this strategy to work, we need to keep or maintain a steady supply of them. How far can you move in? Oh, still not that far, okay. Let's bring a slasher here. And maybe assist Satch a little bit. I don't want to bring Satch in too close here, to be honest. Nobody can really move super far, only the Harpy can, actually. Let's bring the Shaman in. And let's bring Satch in a little bit, at least. Maybe right there. Don't know whether that makes for an attractive target here, but I hope it does. Uh, I can't produce anything at the tower here, so that's our turn. Okay, it does. So I can now attack the Harpy with our Shaman. Pretty, ba I think it's pretty good bait here, actually. Oh, you can get to my Slasher. That's what I get for not counting squares, I guess. Now, can my Harpy get to you, though? Oh, she can. Look at that. There's no mage nearby to stop me. Just do it. Nice. Now I guess she can just run rampant here until they bring out something else. Uh, this harpy needs to go, as already established. And go she will. Goodbye. Now, the puppy situation here. You can be in the mountain, which I love. Then you should be standing there, I guess. Yes, you just stand right there. But don't attack. You just wait. And you use the coverage of the mountain, basically. The plus four defense. Okay, very good. And then I will bring you... Also somewhere in here. Maybe there, so they can't utilize this one against us. Yeah, I think this is actually a good idea here. Okay, got that one. Slasher needs to move in. We need somebody to claim all the territories we're gonna take here in a second. Uh, now what do we do here? Could face the knight directly. I don't know if Ryota is gonna object. Probably is. Could also come in from this side. I could start attacking the village actually. 
I bring this pup here? <laughs> Start jumping away. Don't know whether it is too greedy or not, but if I can try and damage his income, that would be good. Okay, of course it hurts a little bit. But this one is gonna hurt even more. Bonk. It's really good, man. It, it seems to be working so far, at least. Uh, this pup, I don't know quite where I will send you yet, but Setch needs to be somewhere close here, but not too close. I think Setch, I want to put you here. Maybe I can throw you in a mountain there. Then I will put this pup right there. Then just... <laughs> Like, just flood them, man. Keep them coming. You just move up there. Very nice. And then, give me another one of those. Give me another one of these. And our money situation, we have 650 gold, 500 income. Okay. I mean, I could get another harpy. Do I want to? Interesting proposition. Let's just say yes. There's an archer. I think I can take the archer down with the leaf wing right away though. If I can, that will be just uh, 500 gold to waste it basically. Hey, okay, Ryota's feeling pretty strong there. Yeah? He has his uh, weird roof ability that lets him just dash through things, which is very scary. There are my part boys. <laughs> yeah, he's going on the offensive, alright. A single Shiba coming in. Very nice. I think you are gonna come and fly over here and attack this guy. Because the, he put it. I think if you put him somewhere else. Pretty much anywhere else would have been so much better because he's standing in the minus two defense territory right now. Now we can come in here and damage this guy. I don't know if it counts if I attack the building. Like for my for my blood rush thing. Uh maybe I want to use the shaman to come in here and then heal like that. Is there any downside to this? Uh, let's do it. Having Satch at almost full health also puts my mind at ease a little bit to be honest. I think yeah we're gonna destroy this. Just straight up. Rip it apart. Very good. So this is gone. The dog will do 21 to 30 percent to Ryota here. Hmm. Now Satch could also attack him for 34 to 47 percent. Pretty good actually. Satch could not attack him from down here, I suppose. But we should attack him while his groove is still on because he won't gather any more any more groove meter like that, right? Mm, what is the smartest thing to do down here now? Could attack this, could attack this guy. This will be a really hard hit actually. I think I think you want to come here and attack like this. It's a little bit of a strange one. I don't like the split front, but what can you do? <laughs> a singular mage. The struggle. Okay, and then my leaf wing is here. I think I want to attack them there. I could also just take this guy out. 
Maybe I just want to roll in against those guys down here now. Yeah, let's let's come, just come here and attack the mage. Not perfect, but what can you do? Uh, this situation is a little bit strange. Whom do I even want to attack? I guess I can get rid of this guy. Hmm. I think I want to attack you there. Even though, of course, I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Maybe we can cause him to run away. Maybe it's wishful thinking. And then you come here and attack. Just get this guy out of the way. Now Setch can come in against this guy for 46 to 54 percent damage. Or I can claim this. I think we're not super strapped on cash, so I don't really need to claim this right now. And sadly not attack Ryota, but if Ryota attacks, he's gonna... This, he's probably gonna move this guy out of the way. Can dash like this, and then dash through here. There will be a lot of damage to me, actually. Makes me a little scared. If I, is there any way to check his ability again? Just says... Dashes for rows of enemies dealing 50% of the damage he would inflict at full health. Damage increased by 5% per row. He can dash for neutral structures. He also zoop 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 like this. Hmm. He can use his own units to try and achieve the perfect arrangement before activating it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It just still doesn't tell me how far he can actually dash. So he's probably gonna do zip zap. If he does it like this, he will be standing here, which doesn't work. If he moves this guy first, then he's gonna go zip zap and then it ends. Yes, this he should attack like this then. Gonna hold on to my sadistic rush for now. Okay. We got our Shaman here, which can still heal us as a little bit of a backup, which would be great. Uh, if he dashes like z Zomp, Zomp. Maybe I want to stand here, or do I want to stand here? Maybe I want to be there, actually. And puppies, please move in. Uh, there's another pup right there. Now we only have 250 left, sadly, so let's do this. And bring the leaf wing in from up there. And this pup can still move, but can't really do anything. Same with this guy. I think I will bring this little guy into the mountain here, though. If I attack, that's 9 to 14. Just wait for now. And you, little guy. But if he dashes like this, then he can dash up like this only, I suppose. If I move here, then he can dash like this and then from my shaman. Yeah, so I think I will just wait here for now and see what happens, as, as much as I hate to say it. I'm gonna bring another slasher. I'll probably not just end my turn here. Okay, he's just gonna attack normally, apparently. I wonder why he chose that one. Yes, I don't really want to face Satch here, neither of them. This doesn't even kill my puppy, man. That's so good. Okay, then they're attacking Satch here. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking here, man. A smock. <laughs> good one. I think I can kill this guy with the rush now, right? Yeah, this one hurts, but doesn't kill me yet. This guy attacking my leaf wing. 
Okay, what about Setch? You do Sadistic Rush against this guy. Sump. He's gone. Uh, what about... I can bring the shame in here and actually heal right there. Yeah, let me just do that. And then, what about bringing Sedge here and using Sadistic Rush again to get rid of this guy? It's <laughs> so good, man. Sedge hungers. Now, I can bring the Harpy back in here and actually attack Ryota there. It's not as much, much damage as I thought it would be, but it would be worse. Very good. I like it. Uh, can I take down anything there? This guy's nine. I think I want to wait this puppy up there. You can't move into this mountain, can you? Like if I bring this pup over here and attack, they won't quite destroy me yet. Just bullying them basically. Imagine there's just a bunch of dogs trying to knock down your door, that must be terrifying. And then I guess I'm gonna bring this pup up here. Okay. Satch can still move, which is just hilarious to me. Uh, I can bring this guy down here if I wanted to. How far can you move? You can also get down here. You still won't be able to finish the knight there. Eh? Let's attack like this. Bang. And then... Move you over here and attack the knight from over there. Which still won't quite bring him down, it doesn't seem right. Uh, if Setch can move four, you can move one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that works. So if I put the pup, I don't even know where I want to put you, my man. Just put you here for now. Yeah, I think so. Okay, now if I bring Satch, yeah, you can come down here. So what if you do a sadistic rush against this guy now? <laughs> Zap. There we go. And then I guess you can come in here and take this guy with a sadistic rush. <laughs> it's so good, man. I love this ability. It's very good, man. Okay, now he's down to 30% health. It's pretty good. Can't bring him down to like 7. Can't quite finish in this turn, sadly. Uh, let's bring the leaf wing in a little bit closer. I think he's probably gonna try and escape and maybe even heal himself. Let's attack him from over here. It's, if he doesn't heal himself, he's... Really toasted soon, man. Uh, if he dashes now, he can dash not in this direction, and I think he can dash maybe here, and that's it. He can move, he could move here and dash here and then over there. So if I put this pup here, it will actually be safer, I suppose. This is now very extreme warfare, man. Let's capture this, <laughs> just because I can. Might as well. You can use this reinforces if push comes to shove, which I don't hope it will, but you know. Uh, let's bring the pups in. Just like that, and like that. And wouldn't you know, we have 300 gold left, so that's just enough for another two. Can't wait to watch what other YouTubers did with this man, like... It's gonna be crazy. If you know any good YouTuber or any uh, YouTuber I should watch who also plays or played through Wargroove, then let me know. 
I'm very intrigued. Okay, he's going to attack Setch here. I'm not too stressed yet. The interesting part will be what Ryota does here, actually. Yeah, he does a blade dash and moves through like this. Okay, that was pretty good. He took my village like this. Very impressive. Now I think it's time to perish though, so if you would please. Die. Got him. Impressed. Yes. <laughs> Finally, we don't have to go for the stronghold. The pretty soldier boy was no match for Sedge. No. You have defeated these men, but Heaven Song will not fall to you. Heaven Song? Sedge doesn't care about Heaven Song. Only these sweet and succulent soldiers. You're a monster. You're a monster. Yes. yes, a ravenous monster. And do you know what the worst thing about ravenous monsters is? They always come back for seconds. <laughs> you hate to hear it, but you love to hear it, man. I don't know. It's playing a Sedge felt so good, I want to do it more. Back in the present. Sorry, Ryota, that sounds horrible. Sounds like Sedge. It was a crushing defeat by a villainous foe. Clearly, the memory of it has marred my judgment. Well, Sedge can leave quite an impression. There was no reason for me to... I apologize without reservation. I won't let myself be so blinded again. Now I know you. I have nothing but the deepest respect for you, Hunter Nuru. You. And... And for you too, Queen Mercia. <laughs> oh, enough with all the mushy stuff. Real cool. All's well that ends well, I suppose. A rank? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. <laughs> so good, man. I got an achievement, Desert Duelist. I don't even know what that is for. You can now play a Sedge in Arcade. Very well earned, I think. But now, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, because I sure did. Dang, Ryota just got bodied there. You love to see it. So, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But more importantly, have a nice day. I'll be seeing you soon and bye-bye.